This video is intended only to supplement the written installation instructions that accompanied your product, not to replace those installation instructions. The written installation instructions should be read and available to you before you attempt to install the product. Warning! Tip over hazard. A child or adult can tip the range and be killed. Install anti-tip bracket to floor or wall per installation instructions. Slide range back so rear range foot is engaged in the slot of the anti-tip bracket. Re-engage anti-tip bracket if range is moved. Do not operate range without anti-tip bracket installed and engaged. Failure to follow these instructions can result in death or serious burns to children and adults. Remove shipping materials, tape, and film from the range. Remove oven racks and parts packaging from inside the oven. Warning! Excessive weight hazard. Use two or more people to move and install range. Failure to do so can result in back or other injury. Using two or more people, firmly grasp the range and gently lay it on its back. Adjusting leveling legs. Adjust the leveling legs to the correct height. Leveling legs can be loosened to add up to a maximum of 1 inch. A minimum of 3 16 inch is needed to engage the anti-tip bracket. When the range is at the correct height, check that there is adequate clearance under the range for the anti-tip bracket. Determine which mounting method to use, floor or wall. If you have a stone or masonry floor, you can use the wall mounting method. Determine and mark edge of range in the cutout space. The mounting bracket can be installed on either the left side or right side of the cutout. Position mounting bracket in cutout so that the right or left edge of the bracket is 15 16 of an inch 2.4 centimeters from the marked edge of the range as shown. Drill two eighth inch holes that correspond to the bracket holes of the determined mounting method. Using the two Phillips head screws provided, mount anti-tip bracket to the wall or floor. Warning! Electrical shock hazard. Disconnect power before servicing. Use a new 40 amp power supply cord. Plug into a grounded outlet. Failure to follow these instructions can result in death, fire, or electrical shock. Before making any electrical connections, confirm that the power supply to the outlet is turned off. Using a Phillips screwdriver, remove the screws to the terminal box cover. Pull the cover down to release tabs and pull towards you to remove. If present, remove the plastic tab attached to the terminal block post with the three hex nuts for the power cord. Insert the tab clamps of the strain relief in the hole of the terminal block. Insert the screws to hold the tab clamps together. Next, feed the power cord wires through the strain relief.
Warning. Electrical shock hazard. Electrically ground range. Failure to do so can result in death, fire, or electrical shock. Using a Phillips screwdriver, remove the green ground screw. Combine the green grounding wire to the screw and reattach. Next, secure the white neutral wire of the power cord to the middle white wire terminal block post with hex nut. Using a 3 8 inch nut driver, connect the black wire and the red wire of the power cord to the black wire and red wire to the two outside terminal block posts using the hex nuts. Securely tighten the hex nuts. With the power cord in place, tighten the strain relief screws to secure the cord. Reattach the terminal box cover and secure with the screws. Warning, electrical shock hazard. Plug into a grounded three or four prong outlet. Do not remove ground prong. Do not use an adapter. Do not use an extension cord. Failure to follow these instructions can result in death, fire, or electrical shock. Plug the range power cord into a grounded electrical outlet. Slide the range back so that the rear range foot is engaged in the anti-tip bracket slot. Place the outside of your foot against the bottom front of the oven door to keep the range from moving and grasp the right or left side of the control panel. Attempt to tilt the range forward. If you encounter immediate resistance, the range foot is engaged in the anti-tip bracket. Place a rack in the oven. Place level on rack and check levelness of range, first side to side, then front to back. Note, range must be level for satisfactory baking performance. Turn power on to make sure range is operating properly. 